It is a crucial game in the fight for survival. Points are precious when you're in the lower reaches of the table. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And welcome to St Mary's here on the south coast of England. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on the visitors who know that they could secure safety today. It is Southampton and they take on Sheffield United. Well, thank you, Derek. I'm pretty sure they would have picked a home game to try and secure their safety. But the league's gone against them. They're playing away from home. Can they do it? I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. Well, looking at the table, they know what they've got to do today in order to stay in the division, and that is win, Lee. Well, it's horrid, isn't it, the threat of the drop? But as you said, Derek, at least it's in their own hands. Give me that scenario all day long. One last effort, remind yourself of what's at stake, and give the fans something to cheer about. You owe them that at least. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Romeo, options around him. Stuart Armstrong. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Delivered into the box. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time, he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Danny Rodriguez. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Referees like to manage the game just as much as players do, but today it is an early yellow card, and we'll see what effect that has on the match. Well, it'll have a big effect, especially on the player, and also the defenders around that player that's been booked earlier in the game, because they now know he's walking a tightrope. Genepo. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And he's beaten him here. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Well, let's go to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. It's a goal for Arsenal. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Straight down the throat of the opposition. And slipped through beautifully. And a touch of finesse. And unfortunate with that chip, Lee, just over the top. Oh, he's done everything right. He's gone over the keeper, but unfortunately he's gone over the bar as well. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Malin with it. Doniel Malin. Well, for Sheffield United, the bitter taste of defeat in the last game. They lost against Everton. How do you see this one going, Lee? Well, it was a disappointing 2-1 defeat at home, wasn't it? But surely that extra work on the training ground, the must score! He's gone for power, Lee, but it's wide. Well, no real direction, but the power was there. And you're right, it's just gone past the post. Getting news of a goal in the Watford game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Watford. 22 minutes played, 1-1. He's got to score! Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Yeah. 
Played into the center of the box. Well, it all counts for naught. And a throw in forthcoming. Now, well, what on earth happened there? Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And firing it into the area. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Cleared away comprehensively. Could be a chance to break here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Relentless high pressing. Funes Mori. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Just drifted into the illegal position. Offside, in the opinion of the officials. Here's Danny Ings. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Firing it in. Well, he knows he can do a lot better on the shooting front. Well, how many times has he had that chance in training and scored on that occasion all over the place? And that was a very fine read. Can they get in behind them? Wonderful chance! Oh, it's off the post! Danger averted. Slipshod passing. Cross blocked. Well, they were so close to taking the lead, weren't they? They just have to keep creating scoring opportunities and surely the goal will come. And that's an important intervention. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. It's all about translating threats into goals. Well, Kraus, oh, this might pay dividends. Well, clattered away. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Three minutes. Intelligent threaded pass here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Here's Danny Ings. So there goes the half-time whistle, and just a stretch. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going in the book. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. The forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me, but they should go on and win. 
And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just mistimed his tackle. Clattered away. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Someone's found the net at the London Stadium. Who exactly? Alan McAnally? It's a goal for West Ham United. 52 minutes played. 1-0. Holland. Fruitful looking attack. Can he open them up here? It has to be! And a goal! Well, there's a warning issued, but as things stand, they will still avoid relegation. Wow, the coach will be looking over for some reaction on the pitch now. Senior pros, step up to the plate, please. Well, Derek, this is why coaches tell you to stop the cross from coming in, but they didn't get tight enough and were punished for it. So they are playing again, and Southampton are the team in front. Beautiful pass. Read it superbly to take back possession. And a throw in forthcoming. Substitution time it is. It's with Vitek. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. And space for the cross. Great chance with that header, but he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. Delivered into the area here. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. And a substitution in the offing. And firing it into the area. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Crossing into the middle. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, he was being very closely marked, but the header not on the target. No, just off target, and the thing is, the defender did his job, and he just couldn't quite get enough of his head on it. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team.
and in with a real chance. It's opened up for him. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo. Wonderful effort this is. Well, a second goal for them here. A chance maybe from the wide position. And just like that, they've lost possession. Well, Southampton certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession here. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. He's given us away. Firing it in. Unable to find the back of the net. And still a lot of work ahead of them here. Well, he probably surprised if he scored from there. But it is worth an effort. He's very adept at protecting the ball. A move of promise on the flank. And played in. It could be up for grabs. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates Stadium. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a second goal for Arsenal. Six minutes remain. 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Into the box it goes. Magnificent defending. And that will be a corner. Over it comes. High class goalkeeping. Perfect positioning. Really top class goalkeeping. Brilliant save. Well, goalkeepers live a charmed life at time, but that was just brilliant. Really, really good goalkeeping. Lord Prowse, Romeo, a real opening now. Well, it's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, it's the timing, Derek. The ball through, matched by the run, and it's a lovely finish. Fabulous goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Read it superbly to take back possession. Possession has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. And the attack fades out. The final whistle. Now they can exhale.